everybody, it's Dave, Blue Jacket 66 here for a quick video. Um, it's gonna be a potpourri video. Um, got some mail day stuff, got an auction win, both vintage and modern stuff. Uh, got an un, uh, got a wax box and uh, gonna open up uh, one of these fun packs. Now the copyright on this is 1981, but right now it has Star Wars cards in it that were from 1977, 78. And we'll talk about it. it's got these all these other cards in here that just have generic wrappers on it that we're going to just see what's in it. Got a lot. Uh, uh, I showed these in my last video and got a, a lot of comments or texts that hey, would love to see you open that. So heck, I got I don't know how many of my have, but uh, going to open up one. So uh, I didn't put what I got in the. In, I'm not going to put what I got in the uh, uh, heading of the video. So. It may just be a bunch of nothing, or it could be a Chewbacca, or a Dukes of Hazard card, or you know, a 1980 Ricky Anderson. We'll we'll just see. But there definitely are some definitely Star Wars packs. But there's a lot of these that just say they contain a, a Pops card. So we'll see. So uh, as you know, I'm collecting the 2019 uh, Top Series Two. Uh, but silver pack, uh, George Brett, uh, refractors, got a um, couple in the mail, got one from Mike O along with the base, I'll show those. Uh, again, an unopened box, some vintage, another George Brett autograph. So we're gonna roll through this uh, really quick and we'll, we'll see what we've got. So let's just turn this around. First, we'll kind of look at the, the uh, cards and then we'll uh, open up this $3 value uh, fun pack and see if, See if there's any hits. First thing let's do, let's look at a few cards. The first, anybody who follows me knows, I've kind of started this George Brad on card, buy it raw card collection. This is uh, from National Treasures. Uh, it's numbered to 10, hometown heroes. Nice crisp autograph. So, uh, happy to uh, add that to my collection. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's my, uh, from Myco. 2019 Top Series 2 base. And along with that, he sent me This, I guess it's a chrome refractor. So, believe it or not, uh, I just kind of made a run on these. So, here's the blue. I'm sorry, that was the black. Here's the blue we've showed before. Here's the green we've showed before. And new, just received this one, the purple refractor. That one's numbered to 75. We've shown the gold before that's numbered to 50. And I just got in the orange that's numbered to 25. So I think I have to get the red, right? I don't know if there's some others, let me know. I don't know, but thank you, Mike O, for that. Iconic YouTuber, who you all know and subscribe to. Um, the other thing I got was uh, this 2011, an open box, Bowman Chrome. Three autograph chromes in every box, six chromes per pack. So I'll just put that away with my <coughs> boxes. Okay. What else did we get here? Okay, this is a baby. This is vintage. Right up my alley here. This is a 1954 Wilson Franks, Roy Campanella, and a PSA 8 off center. Um, food and beverage, right? The 50s were huge for it. This is an ultra scarce set. The, Wilson Franks was out of... Chicago and Wilson Franks were uh, 
Midwest regional distribution. I know in Kansas City, when I was a kid, we had Wilson, Wilson Franks. There's 20 cards to the set. The big one, of course, is the Ted Williams. Uh, I think the second biggest is the Campanella. And then there's Feller and Shane Deans and, and uh, uh, Duke Snyder and uh, uh, some others. But uh, extraordinarily hard to get in good condition because they were package with Frank's ultra rare issue and I'm really happy to have this one I think in the early 90s someone walked into a show with 300 of these in near mint condition it was obviously some sort of a box or uh, uncirculated warehouse find and sold them to Alan Rose and Mr. Mint in the early 90s I would not be surprised if this is not one of these because this is a mint card uh, it does have the off-center qualifier, which a lot of these cards are off-center. I am okie dokie with that, because if this was a straight eight, it'd be a $9,000 card. And because it's off-center, uh, I got it for significantly less. And a lot of these cards are off-center anyway, and... I've no, just to find any sort of a Wilson Franks that's quote unquote like centered perfectly is like really, really difficult. So this is one issue where I could not care less if it's off centered. A lot of my older vintage cards, I do not even care about centering. I do care about centering on like my mantle run and et cetera. So 1954 Wilson Franks, Roy Campanella, PSA eight off center. That's a really a biggie for my collection. It's the only uh, second Wilson Franks I have. I think I have a Shane Dean Sits Raw, just kind of for a tight collection. Uh, I've been looking for Williams for a long time, but they're extraordinarily expensive. And if you guys watch my videos, you know, I don't buy cards that I don't really like them, even if I collect the player. Uh, that's why I'm still kind of missing a 55 Bowman mantle, etc. So I don't really like the 55 uh, Wilson Franks, Ted Williams. So it's tough to shell out a lot of money, but even on a low grade one, uh, if you don't really care for the card, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I will likely never own, own one unless I come across, you know, a good deal. So, okay, that's that. Uh, what else? Okay, for our giveaway, I had a giveaway with my last video. And it's been almost a week. I think today I've gone ahead and emailed you guys um so with, did i need your addresses um and i'm not sure i michael myers he, he won the uh squirt set i have not heard from him so michael uh you need to post uh your email address and i'll email you uh, to get your shipping address or just sh or just uh, post it. Everybody else, I'll try to get your stuff out within the next uh, 48 hours. Okay, so let me turn this off and we're going to address this these, uh, this fun okay, pack. Okay, so here's the fun pack. It's 30 packs. It's a quote-unquote $3 value. Um, also 30 sticks of bubble gum in it. And this says 1981 Topps Chewing Gum Company. So I mean, that's the copyright. It, that doesn't mean it was released in 81. It, it, clearly this pack didn't come out before 81. Um, it could have come out after, but let's just look what's in there and see if it gives us an idea of what we're gonna be opening. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna get and I didn't put in the title of the video uh, if I hit anything or not, so we'll just go through it. You might wanna fast forward. Uh, pack opening is usually brutal. So, there's several of these Star Wars packs. Let me see how many of those I got. Six, seven, eight or so. And the rest of these uh, look like this. It says assorted subjects, picture cards and bubble gum. Uh, and it doesn't have a year on, th on this, nor this. 
So, I guess we'll just open them up and see. So let, let me go through the Star Wars first. I don't know much about Star Wars cars. I, I do know I have several complete sets of them. And I think I've seen on eBay that some high graded PSA examples are have some value to them. So here's the gum. All right, so this, it looks like there's a picture puzzle on the back. So these are 1977. Stormtroopers attack our heroes, Imperial soldier, blah, 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 blah. You guys don't want to see all that. The good news is the cards, you know, there's some print dots, but at least the cards appear to be mint. So let me run through these Star Wars. I'm not sure what I would be looking for. Um, you know, centering's not great on that, clearly. C-3PO, some others. I'm just gonna hammer through these. No, no, I kinda have to research it, honestly, to see. Okay, those are all mint. The gum doesn't seem to be sticking. The gum is on the face card, but doesn't seem to have done anything. Darth Vader strangling a rebel. Here's Ben rescuing Luke after he was attacked clearly by those pesky sand people. So, you know, it'd be nice if uh, the other packs in here uh, had uh, Obi-Wan. There's some centering problems there, but otherwise they're mint. If, if maybe these sports cards have some late 70s or early 80s. Okay, more mint Star Wars. I just wanna run through these real quick. Although I'm not sure why, because I'm not sure what I'd be looking for. Centered a little better. Chewy. One more Star Wars card. Then we'll get to the presumably sports cards. A classic picture there. So the good news is, is these corners are mint. The cards are mint. And uh, I think these Star Wars came out maybe in series I can't even remember but these are all red and as I recall they're not all red but I'll have to look into it okay let's do our first pack here fingers crossed on what we got <laughs> uh, well this pack we got more Star Wars and it appears to be a different series with the white I'm hoping this isn't all Star Wars, but what do you do? Star Wars. It does say assorted subjects, so come on. Yeah, she was a hottie, there's no question. So I guess this is series two of the Star Wars, so... I'm not gonna watch, make you watch me open 25 packs of, more of Star Wars. So I'm gonna turn off this video and I'll turn it on if I hit a pack that's not Star Wars. Okay, hit a pack uh, that's not Star Wars. It is, however, Jaws 2. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'll keep filming. Dang it. Listen. Jaws 2. Not only am I going to not make you watch me open pack after pack of Star Wars, I'm not going to make you watch me open pack after pack of Jaws. Stay tuned if we okay. get something else. Next pack. Dig it.
1978 Topps football. Carl Mock. So maybe there's hope. Burgess Owens. Noah Jackson. Ray Rhodes. Okay, so so far we have 70 set cards from 77 and 78. Here's our next pack. More football. Jack Scott. Bill Berge. Gary Huff. And some Saints uh, leaders. Let's keep going. The gum's somewhat brittle, it appears. James Hunter, Mac Mitchell, John Hanna. Never heard of any of these guys. Here, here's 77 highlights at Tarkington. Onward we go. More Star Wars. Jaws 2. She's in some distress. Jaws 2 was uh, pretty much a step down from Jaws 1. But you gotta admit, it was better than Jaws 3 through however many they made. More Jaws. Oh, good. Back to Star Wars. The Art of Levitation. You know, I never, never thought Luke was much of a Jedi, you know? Not much there. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back on. If Nothing else. Back. So looks like a majority of these in the Sun Pack uh, were the Jaws 2. Stack about that big. Next, the second, I guess, second series of Star Wars. Little gum. Almost an equal amount of Star Wars. I don't know what series that is. And then a kind of short stack of 78 Tops football. So I don't know if that's an indication of what's in these other bags that I have. My gut would tell me yes, but like I say, I, you know, you never know. So that's it. The big thing was the uh, uh, thank you to Mike O for the uh, Brett Refractor. And again, I have one more to go on that refractor, little rainbow, uh, new uh, George Brad autograph, the box of 2011 Bowman Chrome. And what I'm really proud of is the 1954 Wilson Franks uh, Roy Campanella. So stay tuned. I'm kind of working on a crazy kind of video that I get alluded to in my last video, probably out in a week or two. And that will probably be it as I watch my subscribers plummet, so. It's hotter than hell in St. Louis. I uh, worked last night, the last two nights. So I'm just gonna just kind of relax today and uh, gonna try to watch that women's soccer semifinal tomorrow against England. I don't know what time it is. It's probably 2 p.m. because my ex-wife, my son is over there, my daughter, all, you know, all my people are over there and they have uh, tickets to both semifinal games as well as the final. They're in Lyon, L-Y-O-N, France. So they're really hyped up for it. That should be a lot of fun. So I'll be rooting on uh, USA. Okay, talk to you later.